In the second phase of the OGC Vector Tiles pilot, a Cherry improved components of its Gnosis geospatial software. These included the server and client, as well as production and visualization capabilities for geopackages with extensions for tile vector features. Amongst the new server-side capabilities, support for serving tiles according to additional tiling scheme was added, one using a world mercator projection based on the WGS84 ellipsoid, one for the Gnosis global grid following the tile matrix at standard support for variable width tile matrices, as well as one for the CDB global grid representing both CDB levels of detail and CDB zones with variable width tile matrices. Another aspect implemented was the ability to provide the required metadata to make use of tiles consisting of one or multiple layers of vector features through a standard mechanism. The project team opted to adopt draft specifications of Mapbox tile JSON for this purpose, as it conveys the key information such as the layers the fields for attribute information, the zoom levels, as well as a URL template for retrieving the tiles themselves. Providing this metadata in a tile JSON format also enables use of the Tiles API by the rich set of tools available in the Mapbox ecosystem. Capabilities for server-side filtering were also developed, usable with both the Features and Tiles API. Support for comparison of attribute values, geometry intersection with a bounding box, as well as logical and arithmetic operations was achieved. The current implementation supports expressions from CMSS, the native styling language of Gnosis tools where such expressions are also used as selectors for deciding whether to apply symbology rules, as well as for the values of styling properties within the symbolizers themselves. The ability to select specific layers to include within multi-layer tiles also makes it possible to greatly reduce the size of the tiles produced. This can be done in conjunction with the scale-based selector, making it possible to reuse the same tiles template for all zoom levels. There are also plans to support the CQL filtering language. On the client side, improvements were made to reflect the latest development of the Tiles API, including the use of Tile JSON to better support multi-layer tiles. This enabled performing technology integration experiments with all the different services provided by multiple participants in the pilot, including Echeri, Interactive Instruments, GeoSolutions, as well as Terranoto. Support for new tiling schemes was also implemented, and various performance improvements were made to the rendering engine. These changes maintain compatibility with the Styles API and Visual Style Editor embedded within Gnosis Cartographer. Gnosis Cartographer can produce geopackages leveraging a number of very useful extensions developed by participants as part of the Vector Tiles pilot. In the second phase, an extension aligning geopackages with the OGC tile matrix set standard was developed, enabling the use of variable width tile matrices, as well as avoiding the overhead of repeating a full description of the same tile matrix set reused by multiple layers within the same geopackage. Other supported geopackage extensions relevant to vector tiles are the core vector tiles extensions, the Mapbox and GeoJSON vector tiles encoding, as well as the Attributes Table extension. Omitting the attributes information from the individual tiles and storing them separately in a relational table has a dual advantage. On one hand, it greatly reduces the size of the geopackage, while on the other, it enables the use of the SQL Relational Database Query Language to access a geopackage with a large amount of geometry and or attributes information. This is particularly useful in conjunction with the use of the R-Tree extension to spatially index the data and or use a features and tiles mapping extension. The Gnosis visualization client was tested with the geopackages produced by Gnosis Cartographer, which featured different combinations of tile matrix sets, such as quad trees, based on the spherical web mercator, world mercator, and plat carré projections, as well as the Gnosis global grid. Mapbox vector tiles containing either a single layer or multiple layer per tiles were both experimented with. 
Both embedded attributes as well as attributes separately stored in relational tables were also tested. Additionally, numerous technology integration experiments were also performed with geopackages produced by image matters visualized in the Gnosis client. Those geopackages featured data retrieved from the Tiles API provided by all the different participants of the pilot. Different layers were also included for the same data organized using different tile matrix sets supported. Styling information using the geopackage extension for portrayal was also included. During this second phase of the pilot, progress was also made on clarifying how to store symbology information within geopackages, including support for storing symbols as either individual images or as part of sprite sheets. For offline use, Gnosis natively supports the Gnosis Data Store, a compact offline tile data store able to store coverage, imagery, and vector data, and balancing the number of files versus the size of each file. The improved capabilities are also reflected in the mobile Android version of Gnosis software. <laughs>